guys, E. Latimer here. You'll have to excuse me. I have some kind of drilling and banging and thumping going on above my head right now because somebody is doing construction. How dare they do things like fix this building? I shall write a firmly worded letter to express my disappointment in them. So as a lot of you know, last week I had a big giveaway. Well, I didn't have the giveaway yet. I'm having it now. I am going to take three entries out of the magic top hat of magicness and see who won two ebooks and one signed paper copy of Frost. But first, this is an actual video. The worst. This is a video about things and stuff, not just a picking the winners of the giveaway. I want to talk about something that's been bothering me lately, and it's realism in books and movies. Specifically the movie I went to see last night. Yeah, you guessed it, there's a rant coming. You should not be surprised by now. So I went to see this spy hitman movie thing yesterday, and it shouldn't surprise me that there are some things that didn't quite sit right with me. A lot of the time I'm able to suspend my disbelief, but there are little things that bother me if I'm already suspending my disbelief for like giant things. Like the fact that a 90 pound soaking wet girl is punch kicking these 190 pound bad guys and knocking out 50 of them in one punch. And she's so tiny that I could probably sit on her and she would suffocate. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't girls that are naturally her size and that can kick ass, because there probably are. But if you look at Hollywood, it would be all of them, apparently. Uh, for once, I would like to see a girl, even if she's very skinny, with muscles. You know, in the past, when she was knocking all the bad guys out with one blow, she probably developed some muscles. The other thing that made me choke on my popcorn because I was laughing was the scene where this woman comes out of the pool. She's this beautiful silhouette. She's still got all her makeup on and everything, and then she just opens her eyes. And that's when I started, tr I had to force myself not to crack up. Because come on ladies, you know what it's like when you sort of flail to the surface of the pool, you're, you're rubbing your eyes and ow my eyeballs. Or you have waterproof mascara on and it's run, you're like a raccoon and you're clawing at your eyes because you can't see. And then your hair is like in your face and you look like a swamp monster. So for once, I would just like some realism in the tiny little details. That includes books as well. I'm not just ranting about movies. Part of the thing that I really liked about Divergent is that Triss got the crap beat out of her when she was initially learning to fight. It wasn't like a snap thing where she's like, I'm awesome and kick ass now. She actually really suffered initially and had people use her as a punching bag until she toughened up. And it was a slow, painful process as you were reading it with her. And that's realistic. All ranting aside, I know it's Hollywood, why do I go in expecting anything else? This is why we have to write awesome books, guys, and get them turned into movies and be real with the details. Now comes the magical hat of magicness, which is a lot less flaily and ranty than I am. So let's pick the... I'm shaking it to see I'm fair. <laughs> the magic hat is a little covered in magic dust. Okay. So, drum roll please. I don't have a drum roll sound effect, so you're not getting one. Oh, the winner of the first ebook is Susan McGrath. Good job, Susan. The winner of the second ebook is Charlotte Tory. The third winner of the paperback copy of Frost is I'm So sorry if I butcher your name, Marjoline Vale. I will, I will type it out in the box below. Thanks for everybody who participated and spread the word about the Frost giveaway. You guys are awesome. Don't forget, the Word Nerds have our live chat every Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, and we'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.